everyone, I'm Briggs the Savage. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. The St. Thomas women's basketball team now sits alone at the top of the conference after defeating Gustavus Wednesday night. An 11 game winning streak has helped stamp the team with a number three national ranking this week, the program's highest regular season spot in a decade. The Tommies are hoping to keep their streak alive when they travel to play St. Ben's Saturday. I'm joined today by Coach Ruth Sin, forward Anna Smith, and guard Jenna Doctor. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Coach, 11 games in a row after dropping the season opener. What are you doing to keep your team so focused? We're just focusing on what we can do to improve. Um, we're, we're always looking at getting to the next level, working at our standards, and continuing that process of getting better every day. Great. Yeah, and Anna, you've had to fill the void left by Maggie Wire's season-ending injury. You are second in the team in scoring, and you lead the team in rebounds. What has led to your success on the court? I just think it's stepping into a new role. Like, I just have to be prepared every game, and obviously I have big shoes to fill with Maggie being gone, but I, I get encouragement from her and the rest of my teammates just to, like, do my best, and rebounds is just working hard, and that's what I do best, so... And Jenna, speaking of success, Brianna Barrett has been a driving force for the Blazers with her 173 points already this season. What must you do to stop her on Saturday? Um, we always focus on um, team defense and always being there for help and stuff. So I think we'll just focus on their team as a whole and obviously um, be aware of Brianna because she's had um, lots of success lately. Yeah, and Anna and Jenna, you guys are both sophomores and two of the team's three players who consistently post over 10 points per game. How have you both improved from your rookie seasons? Um, I had experienced my rookie season, and I just think that we get a bigger opportunity as we progress in the program. And just I think like all of us have done a really good job of filling those shoes. And I think that the rest of the sophomore class, we have a big class, is just really talented and just really ready to show what they have to do and can do. So. Yeah, I think um, confidence is definitely a big thing. Coming in as a freshman, you're a little scared and stuff. And by your sophomore year, you kind of know the program and like know everything. And I think, like Anna said, too, we have a big sophomore class. And we're all super close and stuff. So we've gotten to recognize how each other plays and stuff. So I think we do a good job playing together, too. Yeah. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Senior Kate West wants to know, Coach, do you still hold any rivalries against Mayak teams from when you were a Tommy basketball player? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know, the Mayak is a great conference because there are all those, all those rivalries, but, you know, we kind of try to take the idea is that we are our hardest co competition and that every single night out we're going to play to our level. And so we try to keep the standard up there and make those teams play at our, our level. And thus far, collectively, I've been very proud of this group because they're, they're playing collective basketball. It doesn't matter who scores, it just matters that St. Thomas scores. Doesn't matter who's defending, it matters that we all defend. And, and so the rivalries are there, they're fun, uh, they get your juices going, but at the end of the day, we want to know that we played to our best level. Great, well thank you guys so much for coming in. Great, thanks. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com for the latest campus news. Thanks for tuning in. With Coach Ruth Sin, Anna Smith, and Jenna Doctor, I'm Briggs the Savage. We'll see you next time in The Locker Room.